what is up welcome back to another video if you are new to my channel make sure you give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button today's video is something a little bit different because I am on day two of a mental toughness challenge called 75 hard if you're watching this and you're like what the heck is 75 hard don't worry I'm going to explain it and kind of explain why I chose to do it before I get started how did I even find out about 75 hard I've been listening to a podcast called Real AF by a guy called Andy Frisella for about a year now. He always talks about this uh, challenge, 75 Hard, that he created, and it's a mental toughness challenge to build discipline and self-confidence. And I thought, you know what, when I first heard of it, it sounded really restrictive. It didn't sound like something I would like to do. But recently, I've been thinking it's just what I need. His podcast is not for everyone, but he does fully explain everything that's involved in this podcast here so definitely go check it out i'll put a link in the description below have a listen to it it's about an hour long so it's definitely a good one for a walk but anyway let's talk about it so 75 hard or what what's involved two workouts a day one of which has to be outside non-negotiable Drink a gallon of water each day. Take a progress photo every single day. No cheat meals, no alcohol. Doesn't this sound like a fun time? And then read 10 pages of a self-development book every single day. Non-fiction. So these five things, when you first hear them, I'm like, you know what? I think that sounds super restrictive. It doesn't sound good at all because I'm all about balance. I don't believe in labeling foods as cheat meals, treat meals, good, bad. I just think it sets you up for a really negative relationship with food. But for me personally, I've been really struggling recently to get some kind of a tunnel vision focus on what I'm doing. And I think this is because with COVID and everything that's happening, I haven't been able to compete since 2019. I'm not able to travel. I'm not able to compete until next year. And I feel like I'm just missing some kind of extreme focus. So for me personally, um, the discipline and the mental toughness side of things is really important. I truly believe that you cannot achieve any goals you set in life, whether it's in relationship, business, personal life, fitness, without a form of discipline consistency and mental will power and so that really appealed to me for this when it comes to how I'll be doing everything when for 75 hard I'll be doing my fit with and Julie workouts and my fit with and Julie meal plan following an if it fits your macros approach eating primarily whole foods you have a choice of what kind of diet you do whether it's keto paleo ve vegetarian vegan if it fits your macros my diet of choice is of course if it fits your macros and i'll be sticking to my macros for the full 75 days if you miss any one of these habits on any one of the days you have to go back and start from day one so i actually have a habit tracker that i will tick off every single day for that but i do think that two workout today is definitely overkill I think that our bodies really need rest and time to recover which is why I also was against doing this in the first place but what I'll be doing is I'll be doing weight sessions five days a week it'll be three lower body two upper body focus my second workout will be a walking workout so it'll just be walking outside which is pretty non-strenuous and fine and then on my rest day it will be yoga or an ankle weight or booty band kind of less resistant workout plus a walk in the afternoon so that's my way of getting in two workouts it doesn't really bother me because usually I would hit steps anyway so the walk is just kind of an added thing because it has to be outside one of the workouts has to be outside so right that's my nutrition my workout in terms of my fitness based goals around this i'll be spending about six weeks shredding and i'll be spending the last four to five weeks reverse dieting and then from there i'll go on to build more muscle so i'm really excited for this kind of focus in terms of the nutrition consistency side of things water i drink four liters a day anyway because i am really active but again i think it's important to speak to your doctor before starting any kind of health program especially where you're drinking that much water 
water it's not for everyone so i do think that this challenge has its flaws in terms of it being so general and everyone so different that we need personalized plans when it comes to nutrition training and water but anyway that's just my thoughts on it i feel like i can't criticize something i haven't actually gone through and done which is one of the reasons why i'm doing this it seems to be trending on tiktok and social media and before i kind of knock something i think you have to actually try it and do it so i'll do a review at the end of the 75 days on what i actually think about it now when it comes to reading you're not allowed to have an audio book it has to be physically reading 10 pages of a self-development book i love reading this isn't an issue for me i just have to remember to do it each day so i've been kind of ticking off yesterday and today i ticked off reading and progress photos in the morning i think that's kind of the best way to do it so that i don't forget those things i took off a workout in the morning and then i do my second workout later on in the day which is just a walk to take a break from work and sitting at my desk which is awesome in terms of alcohol i'm not fast on it i don't really drink alcohol year round anyway so that will be easy in terms of cheat meals i really don't like the labels of cheat meals good foods bad foods but it's just going to be whole foods focused and i'm not going to be fitting in ice cream each day but i am not going to limit myself to say like oh you can't have you know a protein bar you can't have chocolate you can't have these kinds of things because i think that sets you up for a really bad relationship with food and i don't want to fall into any kind of negative relationship with food because i have worked really hard on having a good relationship with food so i do kind of intend to do if it fits your macros but like for example my dessert last night was strawberries with sugar-free maple syrup so i think it really comes down to you being honest with yourself because at the end of the day if you cheat on any of these things you're only cheating yourself and you won't get the full benefit of the 75 days that's kind of everything i wanted to say on it my main reasons for doing it is the discipline the mental toughness and consistency it's really just rebuilding all these habits that i already have and getting them stronger and learning to not make excuses like just because it's raining outside doesn't mean that i get to not go for a walk i still have to hit that second workout so yeah that's kind of what i wanted to talk about i'll be doing video updates every two weeks on youtube i'm doing daily videos on tiktok so definitely check that out if you're not already following me there and then at the end of this i'm going to do a recap on it so just to go back to the start for this my personal opinions of 75 hard is that i don't think it's for everyone I really want to stress this. I don't think that someone that is brand new to their fitness journey should look at doing this. I think that you should focus on a more balanced approach. Something is always better than nothing. So if you're doing no workouts at all, even just going for a 45 minute walk each day is an incredible improvement as is just tying up your nutrition and cutting back the takeaways and maybe swapping out soda for water. You know, all those small habits that I always talk about. I do not believe that 75 hard is balance i don't believe that it's for everyone i think you should chat to your doctor before you start any kind of new routine and in all honesty if your goal is to lose fat this isn't the thing for you if your goal is to lose weight and have a healthy relationship with food and actually get balance then click the link in the description sign up at anjuliemack.com to work with me once you sign up i'll send you an email about your goals and then i'll create your personalized meal and training plan to help you actually build a healthy and sustainable lifestyle that you can enjoy while eating the foods that you love and getting the results that you want again 75 hard has taken off on tiktok and social media as some kind of a fitness challenge but andy speaks clearly about it in his podcast as it not being a fitness challenge it is a mental toughness and discipline based challenge and i do believe that after i've completed the 75 days assuming I do fingers crossed touch wood that I will feel a lot better about everything that I'm doing in all areas of life and my overall discipline and lack of complaining <laughs> <laughs> because your girl can definitely complain about some things and I think this is just what I need but 
once again i repeat this is not for everyone so please use your common sense when looking at doing anything like this and if you do need help you know where to find me i would absolutely love to have you on the squad i help women all around the world achieve their health and fitness goals and i'm so much more about you know helping you actually learn about nutrition and eat the foods that you love because there's no such thing as bad foods chocolate and ice cream are definitely things that you can eat in moderation and still achieve result but in saying that i am super excited for this and i'll catch you in my next update bye